Welcome to Into the Unknown, unraveling NASA's propulsion and wormhole theories. Our journey begins with the inception of NASA's propulsion theories. The dawn of these theories takes us back to the mid-20th century, specifically the 1950s and 60s. It was an era of intense scientific exploration with the world's brightest minds daring to dream beyond the bounds of our planet. At the heart of these dreams was the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA. Key figures such as Robert H. Goddard, often hailed as the father of modern rocketry, were instrumental during this period. Goddard's early models of rocket propulsion laid the groundwork for the advancements that would soon follow. In the same era the Apollo program was born. This ambitious project aimed to put a man on the moon, an objective that would require unprecedented leaps in propulsion technology. Early Apollo missions saw the use of liquid fuel rockets, a marked improvement from the solid fuel rockets of the past. These rockets, powered by a combination of kerosene and liquid oxygen, propelled the Apollo spacecraft into the unknown, breaking through the Earth's atmosphere and into the vast expanse of space. The Apollo program's successful moon landing on July 20th, 1969, not only made history but also demonstrated the immense potential of propulsion technology. But the Apollo missions were more than an impressive display of human ingenuity. They also served as a catalyst for further advancements in propulsion technology. The success of these missions sparked a global interest in space exploration, driving scientists and researchers to push the boundaries of what was thought to be possible. The Apollo missions marked a significant leap in propulsion technology, but the journey into the unknown was just beginning. As NASA's understanding of the cosmos deepened, so did their propulsion theories. The post-Apollo era saw a seismic shift in the way we thought about traversing the vast expanse of space. No longer were we confined to the limits of chemical propulsion. We dared to dream bigger, push harder and venture further into the unknown. In the wake of the Apollo missions, the focus shifted towards more sustainable and efficient propulsion methods. Enter ion propulsion, a sophisticated technology that uses electric power to accelerate ions to generate thrust. Unlike traditional rocket engines that burn fuel to create a powerful force in a short amount of time, Ion engines expel ions to create a gentle continuous thrust. The result a spacecraft that may be slow to pick up speed but can reach significantly higher velocities over time, perfect for long duration space missions. Parallel to the development of ion propulsion, another revolutionary technology was emerging, plasma propulsion. While ion propulsion focuses on the acceleration of ions, plasma propulsion works by heating a gas until it becomes a plasma, an electrically charged state of matter. This plasma is then expelled from the spacecraft to generate thrust. The beauty of plasma propulsion lies in its efficiency. It requires much less propellant than traditional systems, making it an attractive option for deep space exploration. But let's not forget the most important element of these technologies, electricity. Both ion and plasma propulsion rely heavily on electric power, marking a significant departure from the combustion-based engines. Of yesteryears, this shift towards electric propulsion systems is not just about efficiency and sustainability, but also about the potential to harness energy directly from the sun or nuclear sources, paving the way for truly renewable space travel. These advancements in propulsion technology were groundbreaking, but the most intriguing theories were yet to come. The late 20th century brought forth a concept straight out of science fiction. Wormholes. Imagine, if you will, a tunnel. This isn't your everyday tunnel, though. It's one that connects two points in space-time, potentially millions of light years apart. It's a shortcut through the, the cosmos, or at least that is the dream. This is the simplest way to describe a wormhole. The concept of wormholes was born out of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. It was in 1915 when Einstein proposed the existence of a four-dimensional space-time continuum. However, it wasn't until 1935 that Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen applied this theory to propose bridges or wormholes through space-time. These Einstein-Rosen bridges, as they were initially called, were mathematical solutions to the equations of general relativity. They suggested that the fabric of the universe could be folded over onto itself, creating a tunnel between two points. Then, in the late 1980s, physicist Kip Thorne took the concept a step further. He theorized that wormholes could be made stable and traversable, providing a pathway for interstellar or even intergalactic travel. 
Thorne's work ignited a wave of scientific interest in the concept of wormholes and their potential for space travel. Yet it's important to remember that wormhole theories were and still are just that, theories. Despite the tantalizing prospects they present, their existence remains unproven. The mathematics might add up, but finding physical evidence of wormholes is another matter entirely. In the world of physics, wormholes remain a controversial topic. Some scientists argue that they could exist, while others believe they are purely theoretical constructs with no basis in reality. Yet, the debate continues, fueled by our innate human curiosity and desire to explore the unknown. The concept of wormholes opened up new possibilities for space travel, but they remained just that, theories. The new millennium brought with it advancements that brought wormhole theories closer to reality. As we stepped into the 21st century, the scientific community was abuzz with the possibilities of wormhole theories. The idea that these cosmic shortcuts could exist was no longer just a staple of science fiction, but was now the subject of serious study and experimentation. One of the most notable experiments of the early 2000s comes from the mind of physicist Kip Thorne. His work presented a new perspective on wormholes, suggesting that they could potentially be stabilized. Thorne's study, while theoretical, opened the door to a whole new realm of possibilities in our understanding of the universe. Fast forward to the 2010s, and we find ourselves in the world of quantum entanglement. This phenomenon, where particles become interconnected no matter the distance between them, has been likened to a wormhole by some scientists. The entangled particles seem to communicate faster than the speed of light, essentially teleporting information across vast distances. But what does this mean for space travel? Well, if wormholes do exist and can be stabilized as Thorne suggests, we could potentially use them as a means of interstellar travel. Imagine, if you will, stepping into a wormhole on Earth and stepping out on the other side of the galaxy. The distance of light years traversed in what could be just a matter of moments. However, it's important to note that these are all theories and hypotheses, and while they are backed by mathematical calculations and scientific principles, they have yet to be proven in practice. The existence of wormholes, their stability and their potential use for space travel remain subjects of ongoing research and debate. While the theory of wormholes is still a subject of debate, the possibility of their existence has opened up a new frontier in space travel. The concept of wormholes has transformed from a science fiction trope into a genuine scientific theory that could revolutionize how we explore the cosmos. And who knows, the future might just hold the key to unlocking these cosmic shortcuts. Uh, as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, the future of space travel looks promising. In the realm of astrophysics, the ongoing research on propulsion and wormhole theories is akin to navigating uncharted territories. These theories, once confined to the realm of science fiction, are now the subjects of serious scientific inquiry. Advancements in propulsion research are opening up new possibilities for space travel. Concepts like ion propulsion, nuclear propulsion, and even the seemingly fantastical idea of warp drives are being considered, researched, and in some cases, tested. These technologies hold the potential to drastically reduce travel times across the vast expanses of space, making interstellar travel a tangible possibility. Parallel to this, the enigmatic concept of wormholes presents another exciting frontier. These hypothetical shortcuts through space-time could theoretically allow us to traverse astronomical distances in an instant. Imagine, if you will, stepping through a door in London and emerging a moment later on Mars. That's the kind of travel that wormholes could potentially enable. However, while the potential applications of these theories incite wonder and excitement, they also present significant challenges. For propulsion technologies, the hurdles range from engineering complexities to the daunting task of creating reliable and safe systems that can withstand the rigors of space. When it comes to wormholes, the challenges are even more profound. They involve not just technological advancements, but also a deeper understanding of the very fabric of space-time itself. Despite these challenges, the scientific community remains undeterred. Every day, researchers around the world are inching closer to turning these theories into reality. Each discovery, each breakthrough, brings us one step closer to a future where the stars are not just points of light in the night sky, but destinations within our reach. As we delve deeper into the unknown, the future of space travel continues to be an exciting journey of discovery,